Pepe Steve here. And as you know, we just love Cuphead. And of course, this time, we're gonna be looking at brand new Cuphead articulated action figures. What? I can't believe we're getting articulated figures on Cuphead. Oh man, that came out of the blue. I didn't know they were making these. But yep, there it is. Joining the ranks of Cuphead plush and Cuphead mystery minis and even Cuphead little mystery mini pop figures. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. And not only do we get articulated figures of Cuphead, but they've actually made four and all. There's Mugman, there's the Devil, and there's also the enemy of King Dice. Oh yeah, because you just have to have the enemies because they're the best part of Cuphead. So there we go. There's the first series of this articulated line. It looks like there's four figures in all to collect. I'm not sure if they're a GameStop exclusive, but that's the only place I've been able to find them is at GameStop. So if we look at the back of the box, holy cow, I just love what they did here. They made the back look all vintage-y and you have all four figures there. Yep, what a cool looking packaging for this Cuphead figure. But enough of that, let's just open this up and see what they look like, oh yeah. So, whoops, <laughs> oh I ripped it. Let's get Cuphead out of here. Let's see what this articulated figure looks like. All right, so here we have the first figure of Cuphead. And wow, he looks great. He looks just like he does from the video game. And there's all kinds of details on this guy. He looks fantastic. Look at this, his eyes kind of pop out of his head and his mouth actually goes into his head. Oh, neato, I like how they did that. <laughs> and then the straw's coming out of his head. We've got the little handle on the back. And then his body's really cool, look at this. All the articulation in his arms and hands. Let's see, ooh, he swivels at the waist and the legs, oh man. Yep, they really articulated him to the max. <laughs> oh man, so cool. In fact, he's just about as articulated as the Mario figure we unboxed a couple days ago too. Oh neat, look at this. Ah, they're the same size. <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, it's a Cuphead. Hey Mario, how's it going? Not the bad, it's trying to fight me off some Goombas. Yeah, I know the feeling. I'm always trying to beat bad guys too. Well, 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 if it isn't Cuphead. <laughs> Well, bless me, Barnacles. I'm going to destroy you, Cuphead. Oh, not him. <laughs> oh, he looks like he could be destroyed quite easily. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you hurt my head. Oh, my head. <laughs> oh, it's as easy as that. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I gotta remember that. Ow, oh, I'm going to have double the headache. <laughs> oh, man, what a jerk. Uh, anyway, I just love these Cuphead figures because these look great. In fact, when they were just hanging there at the store shelves, I didn't think they looked all that good, but now that I've taken them out of the package, it's weird. I think it looks better out of the package than it does in the package. Oh man, he's great looking too. I think I like him better than the plush, and I think I like him a lot better than the pop figures. For some reason, I didn't really care for the Cuphead pop figures all that much because there was something off about them I didn't like. In fact, the only line I liked of Cuphead made by Funko was the Mystery Minis line because they look great and had that nice cartoony look that made them look all pixely and whatever. But now that we have the figures, oh man, I think this is going to be my go-to line because this is great. And of course, wherever there's Cuphead, well, you're going to have good old Mugman. Oh yeah, the second player, which is his best friend. So let's get this guy out of here. And, oh, you know what, before I take this out of the package, I want to explain how I mean by they don't look too good in these packaging. Now, I can't really put my finger on it, but I don't know why they don't look good in the packaging. I don't know, maybe that's too much plastic or something? But for some reason, like I said, they look better out of the package than in the package. So, let's get this guy out of here because I think he's probably going to look a lot better outside of the packaging. You know what he does? Oh, man. Ha, I can't explain how or why, but, uh, yeah. Out of the package, he looks awesome. And for all you Cuphead fans out there, he looks exactly like he does in the game too. Ha, <laughs> I like how he's pointing there, that's cool. And, ooh, he's got double pointer fingers. Bew, 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 bew. awesome. Ha, <laughs> oh, I love his eyes and the big nose and the mouth. And ooh, look at his straw. Looks a lot different from Cuphead's. Ha, oh, interesting. And of course, where Cuphead's all red, Mugman here is all blue. And of course, that's the main thing that separates them is the color. Oh man, boy I can't tell you how much I love these figures. Cuphead and Mugman are pretty much the uh, Mario and Luigi of their universe. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they're brothers. Uh, yeah, you know what, I don't know, are we brothers? Huh, that's a good question, I'm not sure. Oh, check out those guys there Mario. 
I can get some milk for my cereal. <laughs> hey, wait, where are you going? <laughs> ah, Luigi. Uh-oh, this is only gonna lead to trouble. All right, now I've got some milk for my Cuphead cereal. Oh, yeah. No, wait, please don't tip me over and pour me out, please. Uh, be quiet, you. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, I want some cereal, too. Uh, where's that Cuphead plush at, anyway? What? Oh! Hey, there you are. Ah, come back here. I want some milk for my cereal. <laughs> okay, so now that we've checked out the heroes of this line, now it's time to check out the Cuphead enemies. Oh, yeah. And the villains, I think, are the best part of this game. And it's a shame there's only two of them that come in this collection. But there we have the Devil and King Dice. And the first one we'll look at is the Devil. And you know what's interesting about these packages? is they put so many layers of this plastic over the top of the figure that yeah, it makes it look kind of silly. Oh man, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it makes it too shiny or something. Ah, well, anyway, whatever the reason is, don't let it discourage you, but me, because man, these are some really cool looking figures. Oh, see what I mean? There's just so many layers to this plastic. Boom! Oh man, check it out. Once we finally remove it from the packaging, it looks a lot better out of the package than he does inside the package. Ah oh, yes, and there he is. I am the devil. Rah, rah. I will kick your butt, Cuphead. <laughs> All you have to do is sign my contract and I will own your soul. And look at this. Oh, he comes with this pitchfork. That's cool. We can put it in his hand there. Which, yep, fits right in. Oh, it's a little snug. Ah, but there he- oh yeah, that's awesome! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, look at that! There's the good old devil hopping mad! Ah! Oh. You know what? From top to bottom, this guy looks great! Look at this! He's got the horns on top, and the big bulbous nose, honk honk! Ha! <laughs> and he's got the yellow eyes and the big grin. Oh, I love it! And all the texture on his body, that looks awesome! Yep, looks like that goat leg fellow! <laughs> oh man, he's got a tail that swivels too! Oh, bonus! Oh, I love it, and his feet look cool. Boy, I gotta say, this figure takes the cake. He looks great. Of course, all he needs now is some fire to dance around in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah, fire. Oh, yeah. I'm the Prince of Darkness, and I will destroy you, Cuphead. No, no, it's the devil. <laughs> Just don't sign anything that he gives you. What? That's ridiculous. He doesn't look that mean. Maybe he just needs a bop on the nugging. Oh, Mario, that's not gonna work. You can't destroy him by hitting him on the head. You can't destroy me like that. I am the Prince of Darkness. Come on, give me some credit. Now he tells me. <sighs> I'm out of here. Now if we compare this devil to the other devils that Funko's made, well, he looks a lot like the plush version that Funko made last year. And of course, if you compare it to the Mystery Minis figure, ha, he looks nothing like that. Oh man. Nope, I'm not too partial to this version of the devil. I actually kind of like this one the most. Even better than the plushy version. And what's better than one bad guy, but two bad guys? Yep, time to bring on old King Dice. Ah, oh, yes. This is another character I love from the game. And, oh, man, he's another tough one that's hard to get out of the packaging. There's so much plastic. <laughs> oh, layer and layers of plastic. And once you bust through all that, we have our King Dice figure. You know what? This guy looks cool, too. Oh, man, I love it. Look how tall he is. Ever since we got the Mystery Minis version of King Dice, well, he was my go-to figure when it came to Cuphead. But now, oh man, this figure looks even better than the Mystery Minis version. Oh man, how'd they do that? Well, whatever they did, they did a good job because the sculpt of King Dice here looks fantastic. Just look at that grin. Oh, I love it. And just in case you're wondering, yep, he's got the rest of those dice pieces all over his head. If we compare it to the Mystery Minis version, Yep, it's exactly the same. <laughs> oh man, he's true to form. And then if we look at his body, he's got the big old bow tie. There's all kinds of articulation in his arms. Oh, I love it. And legs. And oh cool, he's got his tuxedo coming down over his pants. Oh, perfect. Yep, if you ask me, this King Dice figure is puppet-tastic. Now all we need to do is get this guy into a casino setting. Ah, yes, come on, come on. Try your luck at my slot machine. All you need is one soul to play. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I want to play. Yeah. I don't know how I do this thing. Oh, man, what are you doing? You can lose your life playing that thing. Oh, it's not going to be that big, Cuphead. Here, let me try one time. Oh, no, 
we lost! Yep, and it's game over. Oh, I died! No, Mugman! Oh, I warned you! Ah, oh, yeah, there's a sucker born every minute. All right, with that, we have our four figures in the first series of this Cuphead Articulated line, with both good guys and bad guys making up a complete set. Aw, oh, yes. And like I said, if you're just used to the Mystery Minis or the Funko Pop versions of these guys, well, you'll be impressed because the sculpts on these are amazing. I just love the way they look, and they're super articulated too, making them puppetastic. In fact, the only drawback of this line is that there's not enough villains. Oh man, I would love to articulate versions of this girl, Calamaria, and the plant guy. Yep, I want figures of all these things in articulated form. That would be perfect. So I hope they keep on making them, because if they do, I'll keep on buying them. All right, kids, well, there they are. The Cuphead Wave 1 figures by Funko. Oh yeah.